What's going on YouTube? Locking a little one time for the one time. This is your boy JR. How about them Cowboys, Cowboys Nation? They put on a show, a masterpiece last night against the Washington football team, kicking they ass 56 to 14. Hell, they should have dropped 70. Hell, damn, there's 85 on that ass. You know what I'm saying? They could have really went off, but they called the dogs off. They say, called the dogs off. They say, hey, Dad, Zeke, everybody, let's sit it on down and rest. Hit that like button, comment, subscribe. This is my reaction to last night's game. Like I said, hit that like button, comment, subscribe. I sure the hell would appreciate it. Now, let's get into this reaction. Now, look here, damn it. Cowboys offense has been a little sluggish. Still getting dubs. Haven't been peaking at all cylinders. They haven't been really clicking, 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 clicking. But last night, everything came right together. Everything just came right on time. Sunday night football against Washington. And they went all the way off. Dakota Rain Prescott, hey, I don't think he's struggling no more. I don't think he's in a funk no more. I think he's all good now. Four touchdowns, 330 yards, and he only played three quarters. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, Dak. Dak has 29 touchdowns, only 10 interceptions, by the way. You know, Joe, just say it ain't like he's having one of his best years since he's been a pro. He really, really is. And he's still going. Hope we can do the same thing on Sunday against the Cards and keep this thing rolling. We went 4-0 in December for the first time in a long time. Usually December is a month where we play like crap. And that's what every uh, uh, critic waits on December for the Cowboys are going to mess up. They're going to mess it up. They're going to mess it up. Well, we're 11-4 now. And we are NFC East Division champions for the first time since 2018. Congratulations to the boys. Hey, we got more we want to do. But, hell, I am so happy that they got that division crown. And we back on them. Kicking ass. That is the biggest loss, I want to say, in the Washington Cowboys rivalry in all these years. Come on, man. Offense, defense, special teams, everybody scored. Where do I go? Let's go to Zeke. Zeke looked fresh. Zeke looked a lot better. He had that big knee brace on. He looked a little quicker. Got a little more, a little more boost in him. A little more juice in his step. Hey, when he put that dip, that uh, when he was going on the side, when he was going off, off the off the uh, off the left side, and, and and he put his head down. He said, "I'm gonna get this touchdown." And bang! I said, "That's the Zeke I know. That is the Zeke I know." They try to take it from us, but he got it. Zeke with two tubs yesterday. 12 on the season, low-key. People don't understand that. You know, he's one of the league leaders in touchdowns by running back. But they don't tell you that in the fine print. Let's go to CD, uh, CD Lamb, Amari Cooper, the receiving court. All of them played great. All of them went over 50 yards receiving. Everybody got some love yesterday. Amari Cooper was talking like, hey, hey, I want the ball more. I want the ball. I need the ball more. I need the ball. And he got it. He balled out yesterday. First play of the game was to him. And he got, got, <laughs> he got some yards. So, obviously, what he voiced got heard, and they put him right in the game plan. But we need you to do what you do at home. Do the same on the road. Because on the road, Amari goes somewhere else. He'd be in a whole other stratosphere. Um, uh, he's there, but he's not there. But he played well yesterday. Like I said, Amari, CD, Cedric Wilson, all played well yesterday. Running game was all right. Like I said, you know, even though Zeke only had like 40, uh, what, 37 yards rushing, but we didn't run the ball like that. We just attacked their secondary because they're weak and they're terrible and they suck. So we, we attacked their weakness and we just kept going to it. That's all we kept doing. But the running game was here and there, but, you know, it, it got the job done. And I and I like that. Offense looked like they clicked at the right time as what we've been wanting with the defense. Because the defense has been kicking ass. For the last, just all season long, really. Demarcus Lawrence being back is changing things. He got a pick six yesterday, which was amazing. One of the best defensive plays of the season. He was looking like a running back, jumping over Heineke, getting to the end zone. Absolutely amazing. Micah Parsons with a 13th sack. Amazing. His numbers are incredible. He should be right there for defensive player of the year. I do not care. He uh, yeah. Now, Diggs could get Defensive Player of the Year as well. He got number 11. 
Why the hell Taylor Heineke tried to throw that bomb to McLaurin? He was already locked up the first game. And he was clink, clink, and he was locked up again yesterday. Man, Diz got that man on lockdown. He tried to throw that deep ball. He ran the route better than uh, uh, Scary Terry did. He ain't Scary Terry this year. <laughs> okay, now we go against Trick or Trey, Trey Diggs. Yeah, a little, and you got little Diggs <laughs> up there when he was on camera doing his little dance. Don't get any better. Cowboys Nation was rocking in that stadium last night, going crazy. Let's, it was just amazing. All across the board, special teams blocking a punt for a touchdown. Even, and then we got the, we got Cooper Rush in there at the end. He got got some run and got some yards on him. He got like seventy yards passing. Got the young guy touchdown, fifty six points on the board. The Cowboys record was fifty nine. Hell, we were almost there. We really wanted to put pressure on him. Hell, we like I said, we could have we could have went for about a good smooth seventy eighty, easily, easily. But it was a three quarter game. We played our best. We played our most complete game as a team all season. And I'm telling you right now, this team is different. This team has it factor. They can go as far as they want to go. Now, I'm not saying every game is going to be like this at all. We can't expect <laughs> to score 56 points every game. That's not what we want. But consistency is key. Offense is running things. Number one offense. Number one scoring offense. One of the best scoring defenses. Look here, that goes hand in hand. So we can go as far as we want to go. But like I said, consistency, that's all we want on both sides of the football. Keep it going because, because in January, it's going to get a little tight and we're going to play against much better teams and we got to be on our A game. But winning four straight going into January is really good. You want to play at your best going into the playoffs and that's what you want. So we got two more games to go. We got cards. We got the Eagles. Take them out. Get six straight going into the playoffs. Hopefully the Vikings, I think the uh, Packers play the Vikings this week. Uh, Vikings, please uh, uh, get a dub. You beat them the first time, beat them the second time. Okay? We need you, Cowboys Nation. We need you. Okay, come through in the clutch. Okay, we need the Cowboys to come out there and play another great game and get the Cardinals out of here, and we'll be right there at the number one seed, sitting pretty, sitting like fat cats. You understand me? So, I like where we are. I love the way we played yesterday. It was exciting. I was acting the pool here in my house. I know you guys were too. Um, so, the best is yet to come. So hopefully, hopefully this year, we put it all together. We put it all together. If you catch what I'm saying, you know where I want to go, but I ain't going to say it. But everything's looking good. Everything's looking up. I like our chances against anybody. Tampa Bay, Green Bay, any Bay. Okay? The Rams. You name them, you put them in front of us. If we play on point, ain't nobody going to stop us. And that's just the way I feel. Hit that like button, comment, subscribe. Follow me on Twitter at the JR Experience. Uh, hit me up on there. Follow me. Hit me up on Instagram at Smitty486. I will holler back at you uh, very, very, very soon. Hope everybody had a great Christmas. Everybody stay safe out there. And I will be hollering at you later. Peace. I'm through.